hi guys welcome welcome back to my youtube channel today we're going to be drafting a basic sleeve pattern very simple and easy as usual so let's get into the materials needed for this project so we're going to need our french curve and ruler we're going to need a pencil eraser scissors tape and your pattern or craft paper so for your measurements you're going to need length of sleeves bicep measurements your ham or measurements and your wrist measurements so you're going to fold your pattern paper into two And here I'm just grabbing my tape to hold the paper down. So here I'm just drawing a straight line at the top of the paper for my starting point. Next, from that line, I'm going to go ahead and impute my shoulder to wrist measurement, which is the length of sleeves. Remember to add your allowance to this measurement. So for the allowance, I added one inch. So next, you're going to impute your cap height measurement, which is your bust divided by 12 plus one inch. So mine was 41 for my bust measurement I divided that by 12 and when I added the one inch everything came down to 4.5 so you do the same thing to get your cap height value so just draw a straight line and go ahead and label it so on the cap height line you're going to go ahead and put in your armhole measurement so you can take your armhole measurement divide that by two and put it on the line mine was 18 inches divided by two nine and then I put nine on my line so next I'm going to draw a line from that armhole measurement to the center of my pattern paper like so the next steps we're going to draw our head curve next take the midpoint of that line um, minus 10 inches and the midpoint is 5 inches so from that point you just marked you're going to take the midpoint and then from this point to this point you're also going to take the middle so mine was 5, so that would be 2.5. So the first point, which we're going to call point A, you're going to mark 0 0.8 inches from that point. The next point, which is point B, you're going to mark 0 0.3 inches from that point. So the last point, point C, you're going to be marking it at the bottom instead of the top and you're going to mark 0 0.75 then grab your french curve and connect the points like so so you can use any french curve i just prefer using this one because it's small and easier to maneuver or you can use any type any curve you have to connect the points So go ahead and label this as your front. So I'm just going ahead to measure the curve here. I'm doing this because I just want to cross check 
it should be the same as your armhole curve on your basic bodice pattern. Mine came out to be almost the same, but I didn't add allowance yet, so 0.5 inches was missing. So I've just gone ahead to flip the pattern to the other side. Um, remember we folded the paper into two, so I've just flipped the paper to the other side. So now I'm just drawing the straight line as the starting point, just like we did on the front. Next, impute your cap height measurement, just like we did on the front pattern. Then draw a straight line. Again, from the middle point, you're going to put in your armhole measurement on your cap height line. Then draw a parallel line from that point to the center, so to the edge of the pattern paper. So take the midpoints. So at the end, you're going to end up with three points, just like we did on the front. So the back curve is where it gets a bit different. From point A, you're going to measure 0.6 inches. From point B, you're going to measure 0.3 inches. And then point C, at the bottom, you're going to measure 0.4 inches. Now grab your French curve and just connect the dots. Remember, take your time here. No need to rush this step. Just work on it till you get a smooth curve. So I've just gone ahead to flip it back to the front and then I'm going to draw my bicep line. Get your measurements from your shoulder tip to your bicep. Mine happened to be 10.5 inches. So I just marked that on my pattern paper and um, drew a straight line. So on that line, you're going to impute your bicep measurement divided by two. You're going to put it on that line and add one inch allowance. And then on the bottom line, which is your wrist line, you're going to take your wrist measurement divided by two and add one inch for allowance. At the top here, I'm just going to be adding 0.5 inch allowance. And then I'm just going to connect those three points with a straight line. So now I'm just going ahead to add 0.5 inch allowance to my head curve. I'm going to do that for the front and for the back curve as well. Now I'm just going on to cut the pattern out. Once we cut it out, we're done with our sleeve pattern. 
and yes you can use this sleep pattern for anything this is just the basic the foundation you can use it for short sleeves um, long sleeves you can use it for puff sleeves you just have to modify it So here I just showed you another type of sleeve I made so this is more free and I think for this I used it for a project where I had elastic at the bottom so at the wrist I had elastic we've come to the end of this video and if you're still watching thank you so much please subscribe like and comment let me know if you tried this tutorial out and how it went for you see you next time bye